Okay, so in this lesson, we are going to talk about visual buyer personas. So hopefully you've already done the sort of technical buyer persona workbook, so that's more of a written form. But Instagram is a visual platform, so having a visual representation of your buyer persona is going to not only help you shape your content, it's also going to help you shape your marketing visuals, okay? So this is going to make sure that your content visually appeals to your ideal audience as well as pair correctly with your branding. So what I'm going to do is go through a few different examples on ways that you can articulate your buyer persona in a visual format, okay? So you can definitely choose options that are outside this range. I'm just trying to find the ones that are the most easy and the most impactful. So the simplest one is to draw it. So if you have drawing skills and you can see what your persona looks like in your mind, then definitely try this out, okay? So this was an example from one of the students. She was like, I totally see who my buyer persona is in my head. Here's her name, and this was kind of just her rough mock-up, okay? Now, the next way that you can do it is through a tool called Miro. So Miro has a lot of different business solutions, and they have a buyer persona template, okay? So you can see here you have the visual representation of it. You kind of have the colors. You have the different fonts. And there's all kinds of different things that you can do with this buyer persona, you know, add quotes, marketing messaging, common objections. So this is another fun way of creating sort of a visual look for your buyer persona. Another option that you can use, which is what I have, is Milanote. So let's go over to that. So Milanote, all right? So this is the marketing strategy for the IGA club. Then I'm going to go into my audience portion of it. And you see here that this is going to be my buyer persona breakdowns. And Milanote is so easy to use. It literally, like the learning curve on this platform is so easy. All right, so then you can actually click inside the buyer persona. And this is kind of like my visual write-up. So the name, the bio, the goals, their needs, what their favorite brands are, right? You can kind of see like what the color tone is when I look at this audience. Still working on my male audience. <laughs> and then we have um, Boyana, right? So this is her bio. These are the stores that she likes. Ideal experience, pain points, you know, technology and, and sources. So this is a really great way to also take your workbook and create more of a visual look to it, right? Because when you really see this in your head, it's going to be easier to figure out your content strategy and your marketing strategy so that it psychologically appeals to your audience. So Milanote gives you a free template. So it's already there, you did it get started, drag and drop your pictures, pick your brands, you're, you're good to go, okay? Now, your other option is to create mood boards. And one way that you can do that is through Canva. So Canva has plenty mood board designs right? You can have colors, you can have the fonts, you can drop the pictures, right? So this is kind of like neutral, warm colors, you know, redhead. This is kind of like plants and soft pastels, right? So you can pick any of their mood boards. This is fun, funky, bright, neon, coffee mood board. So you can just simply click, you know, type in mood board in terms of the templates on Canva. And that's another way that you can express your buyer persona. So in Canva or even Milanote, you can create a mood board like this where you have kind of all of your photos and then you have your technical write-up. So you see, you can name your persona. Her name is Lindsay. This is her age. These are the movies that she likes. You can see like her favorite color is pink, but it's also kind of like luxury and it's also kind of like trending, but she must be like a millennial, right? So some of these like millennial references. Um, and so you can kind of see the vibe. And then, you know, she's an addict. She's looking for online trends. She's keeping up with the latest, you know, viral things, viral sensation. So the, this is another way that you can depict your visual buyer persona. And then you can use tools like Canva or Milanote to execute this. Now, the next way to create mood boards that is really going to help is Pinterest. 
okay? Pinterest is going to be amazing. And I'm actually gonna walk you through certain examples, all right? So again, it's perfect for creating inspiration to create a roadmap of what your content and your marketing visuals are gonna look like. So this is a company called Frank Body. And if you look at their mood boards in Pinterest, you can see that the themes that they know that their buyer persona likes are these natural sort of biophilic plant life, coffee, because they're a coffee body scrub, so coffee aesthetics. Of course, skin aesthetics. But if you look at their skin aesthetics, it's a, it's this kind of Instagram model look, right? And, um, you know, very much near water because it is a body product. And then lastly is cheeky because they have a very fun sort of a little bit of a sexual kind of personality, but they keep it very tasteful, you know, so they're all, you know, they, they, they kind of have that cheeky playfulness. So definitely incorporating that into their strategy. And then you can see here on their actual feed, how it's actually playing out, right? So they have the visuals, but they know, oh, well, you know what? Our brand colors are pink. So even though they have this inspiration, they're going to appropriate it to their actual brand colors. And that's how they marry the aesthetics that they know their audience likes, as well as what is going to work for their brand. Okay. Okay. So if we take a look at Frank Bod on Pinterest, I definitely recommend giving them a follow because they do a really good job of showcasing their buyer persona as well as some of their product launches. So let's just take a look at this. So this is essentially the visual representation of who they feel like their ideal audience looks like, okay? And very easy, just go in and collect Pinterest pins and make these little boards for yourself. So they have all different you know, body types, natural bodies, right? Showcasing it in the colors, in their swim swimwear, you know, people at the beach, people, in, you know, in their bathrooms. So keeping with their aesthetics, but you can visually see the representation of what their customers actually look like, okay? So definitely recommend if you're not into like Milanote or Canva or any of these other things, then create mood boards of your ideal audience as well as mood boards for each of your products. So for example, this was the mood board for their product launch for their fizzy sugar scrub. So you can see that everything is like yellow and pink and they went with like the 90s exercise aesthetics plus like candy. So this is, a, this is so fun. So you now know what this, this is going to look like in their feed for their actual campaign. But also it's still playing into the cheekiness. It's still playing into the fun. It's still playing into, you know, being a bath product. So you can create these mood boards not only for your buyer persona, but for your actual products as well. Okay. Now, if you have not been here, you definitely need to check this out. This is Pinterest predicts. All right. So they're going through all of their pins and finding the latest trends that are going to happen. And it keeps you in the know. So like they said, this isn't another year end trend report. This is a not yet trending report, a window into the future so that you can be, you know, the next wave, right? So before you see it everywhere, see it here. This is amazing. This is going to really give you ideas on your content and how to speak to your audience. So you can do it by different audiences. You can in the financial space, right? So something like accounting or bookkeeping, which is not so easy to visually sort of map out, right? Because we want to make it visually appropriate to the platform. So here's something new that's coming up. Hashtag fin empowerment, financial empowerment. So manage your money like a boss. I left financial freedom ring in 2022. People will take money matters into their own hands as they set out on a new journey of financial literacy. So as they do that, and let's say people are running businesses, you can use these type of con this type of content to inspire you for your own, you know, brand. And let's say, you know, teaching them, hey, look, if you're starting a business, accounting and bookkeeping is key. Don't put the cart before the horse. 
and make a bunch of money and then you don't have the tax man coming for you or whatever. So now you can kind of see like some fun visual representations of what it could be. You appropriate it obviously for your um, buyer persona, but then here are some of the things that people are talking about. Investment tips, passive income, financial education, right? Different ways that they can sort of visually um, depict that. So definitely, if you're a finance brand, you know, how do you bring this um, trend to life? Explore the pin board. Amazing. Like I'm telling you, Pinterest predicts is literally going to, if you want to be the one in the know in your content and your strategy, get Pinterest predicts. Okay. So this one is great if you are provide like coaching or business resources for people. This is um, a really great um place because turn your passion into a payday right so people wanting to quit their nine to fives people wanting to turn their genius into a course whatever it is so it's going to show you kind of the different things that people are looking for so let's say that you are um you know wanting to help people that have you know art businesses or party rental businesses how do they actually turn that into a business or how do they create a course showing other people how to create party rental businesses or hey you know what i have email templates for eyelash businesses, right? Or becoming a realtor. And then you can kind of just see some of the fun visual ideas, gonna show you who's actually on this trend so you can get more inspiration. And again, how do you bring this trend to life? Okay, amazing. I love Pinterest predicts. Okay, let's keep breaking down some more. Let's say you're an eyelash business, um, you know, hair accessories, click that Pinterest, predicts, right? The soon to be trend for 2022 and, and start to go through some of this content and see what people are talking about. And actually there is a plugin that you can get. Um, let's see from, if you use Chrome, this is how you're going to definitely get some top content and it's called pin on top. So what actually happens is that when you're searching for something, you can sort it by saves. So when you're in this trend, what it's going to do, do you see here how now that saves has popped up? It's actually gonna reorganize this for me. Let me scroll back up to the top. So you see here, it's now showing me the pins on this search term that got the most saves. So what can you do with this? right? You can maybe make a video of an, you making an at-home recipe for eyelash serum. Or this is something that's important. People want to know that definitely the best eyelashes for their eye shape. So maybe you can either make an infographic or make a quiz. And then at the end of the quiz, is the specific lashes for that specific eye. So now not only are you helping someone shop, you're helping, they're feeling like they're being guided and then boom, oh, you know, you have, you know, almond eyes, here's lashes that are perfect for that, okay? And you can use pin on top for any search term and it's gonna show you what's trending right now. So what actually is happening right now is that you're using Pinterest predicts and you're finding the new trends then you're going to the new trends and you're finding the most trending pins. Okay, so that is going to show you what type of content will work so well in your demographic on Instagram. All right. So let's say, you know, your therapist, your mindset coach, personal development. Here's a new thing. Higher frequency, right? In, in multiple communities across the board. But this is representing, you know, the African-American community. People are being high, called to higher consciousness. Definitely Gen Z are looking for ways to raise their vibration, spiritual awakenings. I mean, just really on so many different levels. So how to protect your energy, how to raise your vibration, spiritual awakening stages, aura colors, frequency healing, right? And you can see the different demographics and the visuals that support each different demographic. Create your spotlight, get that inspiration, right? Higher frequency in France, if that's an audience that you want to target. How do you bring this trend to life? If you're a well-being brand, highlight everything you offer in the wellness space from crystals to oils, you know, tarot to incense, incense. This is going to help you understand your audience. So if someone is, you know, a therapist and people have anxiety, right? Practice gratitude, do some journaling, right? These and you can see these trends. And remember, you can click through 
check these pins out and then use pin on top to find the best pins, okay? And same thing, like if you're into mindset and personal development, maybe spiritual, spiritual consciousness is something that your audience is into. So that could be something that you incorporate into your content strategy. And we'll get to content a little bit later. So for my product-based businesses, especially in women's health, right? Menstru mindful menstruation, that is something that is so new coming up, okay? Right, so people are talking about periods and the toxicity of tampons. So if there's any guys listening to this, hey, <laughs> this is what we women go through. So these are some of the search terms, right? And again, click these terms, go and find the latest, the, the top pins, and that is a myriad of ideas of content. And you can see the beautiful visuals, right? So a lot of people incorpor incorporate flowers. Um, those flowers kind of represent lady bits. Um, and, and seeing how, you know, they're showing real bodies going through this um, experience. Create a highlight, bring this trend to life. I'm telling you guys, Pinterest predicts and pin on top Oh yeah, you're, you're, you're winning, okay? When it comes to, this is so important, not only for your visual buyer persona, and it's going to be, it's going to be the same concept for your content. So let's go back to the therapist and mindset. Escape rooms, emotional escape rooms, emotional intelligence, spaces for feeling safe, all right? More ideas, more concepts for you, okay? Check yourself. Oh, this is like fashion. So let's say, you know, your audience, you're into nails, hair, fashion, whatever, and checkers are the new trends and you have that inside of your um, products or even if you don't have it inside of your products, this is just something that you can use and incorporate in your aesthetics for a campaign because you know that this is where, you know, the audience is moving towards, right? So let's say you have a dress, but maybe you can shoot it in like a checkered room or something, okay? So you can get really creative with this. Let's see, if you are a candle brand, lifestyle brand, right? Explore the candles section. Start to create a mood board of the aesthetics of your candles, okay? So if it's keeping you in the space of candles and body products, you know, the Bath and Body Works has a specific collection just for brides. So that's a campaign that you can run. If you know that people, if you're starting to notice, hey, a lot of people buy my products for their wedding parties. And you know what? You need to do a bridal collection. You need to do a bridal campaign. You need to do bridal content, right? Floral, flowers, light, you know, florally pastel, whatever your vibe is. But but this is this is amazing for speaking to your buyer persona, speaking for your brand, creating collections, creating visual cohesions, telling a story. Okay. Same thing. A lot of people love mermaids. <laughs> Mermaid life, water life, like make these collections stand out, find inspiration for it, you know, showcase it in a way where you are really helping people shop online and have that experience without having to be in the store physically seeing your products, all right? Candleberry Co. is a really great company for getting inspiration for home and body. They do a lot of color inspo, aesthetic inspo. Um, let's see, fall, pastel, fall candle, sea life. So they do a really good job at inspo in terms of things that they know their audience wants to see as well as how it works well with their brand, okay? And then again, grab visuals. There's so many influencers that are doing visuals with candles so you kind of know like aesthetically what they look like. It's also gonna help you in the future when you're shaping ideas for working with influencers. And then let's say you're an online coach, right? Or your, your target audience is female entrepreneurs. Hit that female entrepreneur hashtag. Use the pin on top, right? You can see in this this theme that everything is kind of really pinky, you know. And but maybe that's not your audience. So guess what? You can search other terms. Okay. We have woman CEO, which is a totally different aesthetic. It's it's more simple, more muted, not so bright and pink. Do you know what I'm saying? So you can really start to identify what your buyer persona looks like. Who is she or him or whatever. And then if you have products for kids, you already know. Make it colorful. Make it fun. Make mood boards for that. Okay? Okay, so now it's time for you to take action. And we're going to create your own visual buyer persona. So the first thing you want to do is just choose an option that feels the most natural to you. 
Um, you can choose the options that I've went through inside of the training or just pick something that best suits you, okay? And if you look inside the description of the training, I've included links to Miro, Milanote, uh, Pinterest Predicts, and Pin on Top. Then create your visual buyer persona. And if you want any feedback, share it in the members only community, okay? So that's it for this lesson on visual buyer personas. I'm definitely going to be touching again um, on Pinterest predicts, especially when we get to the content portion on like how to actually create visual content because Pinterest predicts just, man, you can really use it for everything, okay? So if you have any questions on this lesson, you already know, drop them below in the discussion area or I think maybe it's in the right top hand corner. I don't know. Think if it's all, think if it is always changing their platform or post it in the members only community. Okay, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next one.